Hey everyone! Today I wanted to address some of the common questions and concerns that I've seen regarding EF Ultimate Break's solo room upgrade. At the time of this video, I've gone to 37 different countries with a variety of tour groups, and I've definitely done my fair share of room sharing while traveling. For my 17-day Highlights of Eastern Europe tour with EF Ultimate Break last summer, I opted to upgrade to a solo room and had zero regrets. I also ended up upgrading to a solo room for my Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands trip this past June. So enough chit chat, let's get into it. The most common concern I've seen is I'm worried I won't be able to make friends if I upgrade to a solo room. Just because you aren't sharing a room with a fellow traveler does not mean you won't make friends. I promise. The welcome dinner on the first night is a great time to meet your fellow travelers, as well as the first city walking tour. You will need to put yourself out there by asking to sit with people at breakfast, but you'll be okay. I promise. I personally felt like I was able to develop better relationships because I was able to recharge my social batteries at night. This helped me to keep from getting irritated over lack of sleep and lack of personal space. There is also nothing that says you can't go into other travelers' rooms or have them come into your room to hang out. In Ecuador, a bunch of us brought our suitcases into one room to repack all of our stuff to go to the Galapagos Islands. We had music on and it was just like a great little packing party and one of my favorite moments of the trip. The second concern I've seen is I just can't justify that kind of money to upgrade to a solo room when I've already paid so much for the trip. True, upgrading to a solo room is an additional cost, but you have to look at the pros and cons. For me, I felt like it was a worthwhile investment because I had my own personal space. I didn't have to worry about coordinating schedules for everyone to get showers or get ready in the morning, and I wouldn't get my sleep interrupted if people came back late from going out. I've already had one drunk roommate try to come in and share a bed with me, and while I laugh about it now, I was pretty mm. angry getting my sleep interrupted. So for me, I find it to be worthwhile. But like I said, you have to think about what's right for you. If you're a social butterfly and you thrive on being around other people, then maybe you don't want a solo upgrade. But for me, I found that I enjoyed it. It was my first time ever having my own hotel room, and the first night in Highlights of Eastern Europe was kind of scary being alone. But honestly, I feel like I was really able to develop more friendships because I wasn't constantly around other people. So it's up to you on whether you find that it's worthwhile or not, but for me, I recommend it. You will still make friends, you will still have a great trip, but you get some me space too, and that's important. If you're ready to book your first trip with EF Ultimate Break, you can book using the link in the video description to save $100 off your trip. The link will automatically apply the promo code. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you have happy travels.